Hey, what's up? My name is Bryce Alwyn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am shooting two different videos. One is a trip from Bangkok here to Chiang Mai. And the second one, this one, is the difference between LumaFusion and iMovie. In 2022, which should you use? Is LumaFusion better? Is iMovie better? Do they have different practical applications? Who is it better for? New users, old users, experience, not experience. We'll be checking all that out. What I do is I do seven daily vlogs during the week. At the end of the week, I collate everything and I put it on my main channel as a professionally edited video. Most of the videos on my vlogs are strictly unedited. The only things that are edited out are personal information and if somebody's acting a fool in public. We don't wanna necessarily always expose people, but if they need to be, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's there. The trip today though is supposed to be, supposed to be nine hours and 30 minutes. This one's supposed to be express, so it's not supposed to be making stops. All right, I've finally gotten everything packed and squared away. Background on iMovie versus LumaFusion. Now I've only used LumaFusion when doing YouTube. I, I really never considered iMovie because it was so old school and antiquated. It, it hasn't changed in years. And apparently, I just looked now and around the same month that I got LumaFusion, like around August timeframe, end of July, August, apparently, there's iMovie 3, the third version. So that's what I'm gonna be comparing today. Um, LumaFusion is not free, it's 30 bucks. And then there's add-ons within LumaFusion that also cost money. So you can't use the music, you can't use the sound effects. It's called storyboards. Those cost money. There's like maybe three or four in each category that are free. They're not great. And the lady's announcement voice comes over and is like, LumaFusion are like storyboards. And it's like, you, you just ruined it. All right, so in this first screen recording, what I was trying to do is show how you would edit in iMovie on an iPhone. Most people have an iPhone. However, what you notice off the bat, you can't see the bottom of the screen. Since I recorded it in portrait mode, for some reason, it doesn't allow you to zoom out and see the full video. So I'll show you what the controls look like on the bottom with a screenshot. So this is the screenshot. This is another weirdo thing. It doesn't let you add this, the full screenshot. So I had to crop it in to get rid of the top video. And what it does is it pans from left to right. Doesn't make you stop panning. It doesn't let you zoom out. Doesn't do anything. Another weirdo quirk of using iMovie, I guess. All right, now let's dive into how to actually split a clip, delete the part you, do, you don't actually want to use in your main video. So what you would do is you would hit edit. And once you hit edit, underneath the timeline, you see three little boxes that come up. The middle one is the one that splits it in half. The one on the right, what it does is it keeps everything up until that point and deletes everything after it. The one on the left keeps everything after that point and deletes everything before it. Now the easiest and simplest way is to use the middle button. It splits it in half. You would then play the video, go to the part that you want to edit out, click split again, right in the middle, and you touch the the whole clip. So it, now you have its own separate clip. You touch the whole clip and hit delete. Now, if you were to delete everything before and delete everything after with the other two buttons on the side, you run the risk of deleting an important part. Maybe you didn't scrub through it that well. Maybe you're paying attention to something else at the same time as trying to edit and you could delete some of your most important footage. So this brings me to the other main downfall. Right here, I just split the clip. I tried to delete it and I panned back a little bit and tried to hit play. However, as you can see, it's paused. It takes a couple seconds for it to catch up with itself. 
and actually start to play. Now that's something that does not happen with Luma Fusion. Once you delete a clip, you're able to play the next one immediately. Now this is something I semi enjoy and like about using iMovie is the titles. The titles are very simple. You know, sometimes on Luma Fusion, it gets kind of confusing on how to actually add a title. You can do the overlay title. With iMovie, it's a lot more simple. You just touch on title. You can select if it's on the left, the right, keep it full screen, all different types. But there is, there is a limitation. There's probably only six. So <laughs> if you don't like the six, then you're, you know, you're SOL. Now, another thing that's really nice about using iMovie is that it has storyboards. So it lets you visualize and see where your clips are actually going to go. And it does it in order. So right here, I, I marked it as trip and then wait to the bus station. So you can mark out where you want things to go in order. And say you don't even know what you want to do. You haven't even started your video yet. Click on a storyboard and say you're doing a product review on a Neutrogena product. Neutrogena product just came out. You want to be the first one to make a review on it. There's blank clips like this that come up and they kind of give you a visual guide on where to put your actual information. This one would be a solo shot. This one would be a portrait shot coming up. So it gives you a rough guide on what to do. You don't have to follow their guide. You can replace it with whatever you want, but it does give you a rough idea if you don't know where to start. Now what I've gone and done is I have exported the clip just to my photos. So now we're going to put it into LumaFusion. Now I have LumaFusion on my home screen, one of them. Here we go. So we've got LumaFusion. Now I like what I like about LumaFusion off the bat, you can put it in landscape mode, especially on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Looks a lot better than just the portrait where you're trying to see what is what. <laughs> we are going to start a new project. Now to start a new project, so we're going to create. All right, so we want the frame rate to be 30 frames per second, 16 by nine landscape, that's your standard. Wide gamma HDR uh, HLG. Now we want to select this um, because most of the clips are done in Dolby Vision and um, it supports HDR. So we click wide gamma HDR HLG, we hit create. So now what we're going to do is on the top left, we're going to click library source. Make sure we go to our photos section. Now the clip that we just uploaded, go to all photos. And it's this one right here. The other ones are just for my daily vlog today. So click on this one. As you see, it's rendering on the right. Hey, what's up? My and name it doesn't really even have to render. Welcome you back to my channel. Immediately can click Today, it, I and am it to play. shooting two different videos. So we are going to take our finger, drag it onto the middle of the timeline. And just like that, no waiting time at all. So we can scrub through. Hey, what's up? My name is Bryce Alwyn. Welcome back to my channel. We can make the window even bigger to give us more of a view down here. All right, so now we are back in real life time. What are we going to do now? We are going to take the screen recording that we just did on two seconds ago. It's three minutes and 56 seconds. We're going to take it. We're going to drag it to the timeline. It's just that simple and you can immediately play it. Let's see this part of the video. If we want to split it, we just click the scissor button. We go over here and we can split it again. We just touch the middle of it and hit the delete button. It's just that fast and everything seamlessly. So now works. we're going to put it in. Now I deleted that because I didn't like how it switched. Now there's still a couple seconds of that switch. So I'm going to delete it again. And there we go. Now, see, so now we're going to see. So to switch right here, delete that super easy. So now, now it, kind of coincides and runs together very fluid you can go as fast as you want doesn't matter everything renders in real time all right so this is editing me actually i think i'm wearing the same shirt 
don't worry, I washed it. <laughs> but I think this is the same shirt from the other day. I have to look back. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put uh, a couple other clips in, show you how I do it. I won't be talking during the section so you can hear the audio and how I'm actually doing it. Um, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So this is editing me. Actually, I think I'm wearing the same shirt. Don't worry, I washed it. <laughs> but I think this is the same shirt from the other day. I have to look back. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put uh, a couple of the put a, a couple of the clips in, show you how I do it. I won't be talking during the section so you can hear the audio and how I'm actually doing it. Um, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Now, one thing that I did forget to show you is in iMovie, something new to come to the third version is called Magic Movie. Now, this... Now, one thing that I did forget to show you magic movie. One thing that I did forget to show you is in iMovie, something new to come to the third version is called Magic Movie. It's called Magic Movie. AKA my final thoughts. So, who is Luma Fusion for? Who is iMovie for? Well, to me, it's pretty cut and dry who wins. It's Luma Fusion that wins for editing. It is iMovie that wins for making trailers. If Luma Fusion was able to incorporate an AI system similar to iMovie, where you can select all the clips, it'll take the best clips, the fastest moving motion, integrate music with it, 
you don't have to pay for the music, you don't have to pay for the sound effects, then it would be out of this world. Now, as it sits right now, it is still far superior to iMovie. There is no lag time. Very, very little have I ever experienced lag. The only thing that does happen on the iPhone is it does get a little hot when you're uploading. Now the upload speed for LumaFusion very dependent on your quality. You can either set it to ultra, standard, economy, really depends how fast your upload speed is. Are you using Wi-Fi or are you using cellular? Personally, I'm in Thailand. I have TrueMove as my provider and I get about 300 download on average. I'm supposed to get a gigabyte, but you never get a gigabyte. My upload speed is normally around between 100 and 500, I've seen it. So it uploads a lot quicker than any of the Wi-Fi here. I haven't even used or touched Wi-Fi in the last month, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, I've blown through almost 400 gigabytes. <coughs> 400 of data, just uploading videos. Luckily, I have unlimited, but imagine if I didn't have unlimited. Even in the US, they charge like 15 bucks per gig. 15 times like almost 490 something gigabytes. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I digress. So I hope this video was useful in the end. I do recommend LumaFusion for anybody that wants to start on YouTube. It's very simple to use. You can do it right from your iPhone. Shoot everything on your iPhone and the native app. And then as we saw, you just tap, drag it in. Super easy. Longest part, honestly, is the upload. You know, you got to sit there and wait. The one bad thing about LumaFusion is it has to stay in the foreground. You can't go out of the app, otherwise it screws everything up. So it's got to stay in the foreground while you're uploading things. Now iMovie is great for making trailers for your videos. So what I would recommend is edit everything on LumaFusion. All the individual clips, keep them. Don't, don't even bother saving the LumaFusion video as a big long video. Individually select all 40, 50, 60, 70 clips and make a magic movie in iMovie. Post that in whatever social media app. The more clips you add, it takes forever for iMovie to analyze. So it could be sitting there for an hour, but you know, if you got time to kill, plug it in at night, select all your clips. By the morning, you'll have your trailer. It's the only downfall. <laughs> you know, the shorter clips, it's really easy. Another way you could do it is maybe do 15 at a time, make a magic movie, do another 15 at a time, we can join them. And then you can do your trailer that way, breeze through it. But I hope this video was somewhat helpful, gave you a little background on both of them, user experience, and kind of like a basic tutorial of how to start a YouTube channel and start uploading videos. You know, you really just gotta get out there, upload videos, Find your niche. You know, I haven't found it yet. Yeah, I might've found it on TikTok. I might've found it on Instagram. Now I'm delving into the world of YouTube, which is a complete different animal with the algorithm. It changes like the wind. It's changed. <laughs> so don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. Subscribe, that really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.